Hello everyone, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over the dynamic keyword. So let's take a look and see what the difference is between var and dynamic because both of them um, are comparable. Let's put it that way. So we could say my var equals this is my var. All right, and then we can use dynamic, my dynamic equals, this is my dynamic, all right? Okay, so dynamic, of course, is a keyword for um, declaring a variable. So let's take a look and see, it's, it represents an object whose operations will be resolved at runtime. What does that mean? Well, it essentially says um, that we don't care how you do what you do, just as long as when we run this program, um, you do what you gotta do. Um, so this var, for instance, um, will have issues if we do something like null, okay? But if we run dynamic, it won't have any issues. You see that? So the reason why is because this is checking before it runs. This is only checked during the uh, actual run runtime. So while the application is running, that's when all of this will get checked. So this will throw an error. You can't actually do this because it stops you before it even runs. So the, uh, using dynamic can be very dangerous if you just start throwing it around and it can be very messy, but it can also be very helpful. So this is an, an example of early binding. All right, and then this is an example of late, late binding. All right, so early binding essentially is me, it means that it binds this um, variable to the value or binding essentially is binding this uh, is bringing together a variable and the value um, and then so early would be doing it before it runs and then late would be doing it after it is actually starting to run or after it is actually running so let's take a look and see what um, other differences actually let's keep that up there let's see what other differences we can pull out so let's see we'll do console dot right line Okay, now we'll copy that. All right, so here we have my var. And let's get, let's take a look and see what we have. So of course, null, we need to change that to, um, this is my var. And then same thing here, this is my dynamic. Okay. So let's take a look and see the extension method. See, we have the length here. We can do remove, replace, all these things that we can do with strings. So let's get the length um, property. Um, now, since dynamic is essentially the same thing, this dynamic variable, it's a string, um, we should be able to access the same properties and extension methods. However, when you press period, nothing shows up. So what if we typed in length as well? Let's go ahead and run it. And we'll actually see what happens. Because again, they should be the same, and they are. The thing is, is this, is, this has absolutely zero supervision before the program runs. So uh, during compile time, um, it has really no supervision. At runtime, that's when everything will actually be taken care of. So um, again, we'll take a look at this one more time. And we can see here and here, of course, that we have the same value. So that is essentially the, uh, the main difference between um, var and dynamic. Um, and that is also how the dynamic keyword works. So again, if you guys have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments or email me directly. Um, and if you guys
have again if you have any questions let me know and until next time thanks for watching